Hey everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this ingenious EAP900H wireless and dual band access point and WDS or wireless distribution system. We'll start off with a look at the retail box. First off for compatibility you can use this access point along with any 802.3 AT capable switch or injector. So uh, this is sort of a network extension device, an access point if you will, and it can also be used as a uh, WDS bridge which is wireless distribution system. So um, basically you can use this to extend your network throughout your home or throughout your office depending on what your needs may be. And uh, you might notice from the design here this is meant to be mounted to a wall or a ceiling that is specifically the reason why it's round and maybe shaped differently than access points you may have seen before. But you can extend your company's network and your internet connection within your building. This is made for indoor use, so employees and guests can access them wherever they work. Uh, you have wireless end capability, so you get up to 450 megabits per second in both the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz frequency bands. You also have multiple operation modes. This actually can operate as a wireless N900 access point, a WDS bridge, or a WDS access point. You also have internal high gain MIMO antennas, uh, those multiple input, multiple output, to provide long range wireless connectivity and high receiving sensi uh, sensitivity. And uh, you get six internal antennas and they're five dBi. You also have band steering, so uh, this can actually switch devices from one band to the other, 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz, to free up the uh, network depending on whether or not you have a lot of traffic or congestion going on. And then you can actually assign multiple SSIDs uh, so you can map them and connect different devices to different SSIDs so you can help segment the devices on your network. A little bit more information on the back here, but just about the wider and penetrating wireless coverage. Power over Ethernet compliance, so um, you don't have to necessarily run direct AC power to this device. If you have power over Ethernet available, it is compatible with that. You also have an easy controller access point management software. It's a free download available from Ingenius, so you can use that to download and uh, administrate your network. Also, of course, you have security protocols which are supported, such as WPA and WPA2. SSID to VLAN tagging, as well as that band steering functionality that I already mentioned briefly. Uh, for system requirements, listed over here on the side, uh, you of course will need a broadband or internet service connection, cable or DSL modem. Uh, you will probably need a computer to connect to this with an internet browser such as Explorer, Safari, Firefox, or Chrome to access the router and get your setup going on. Uh, for tech specs, IEEE 802.3 AT power over ethernet standard, so you can do a single cable to this for both the power as well as the data. Uh, you get a gigabit Ethernet port, so you can have maximum bandwidth and throughput via that wired connection. Internal high gain antennas, uh, 802.11a, b, g, and n compliant, a, p, and w, wds modes, and the wireless encryption of WP, WEP, WPA, and WPA2, as well as 802.1x radius authentication and MAC address filtering also supported. Uh, finally down here you have uh, package contents, and uh, we're going to get into that right now. Here are the contents of the retail box, so starting off with the included accessories, you get an AC power adapter, so again, you can use this with power over Ethernet, but if you don't have that available, you simply plug in the AC power adapter to a plug on the wall, I'm sure you guys know how that works. Uh, you also have some wall mounting hardware that's also included, um, so you get hardware here for mounting to a T-rail or mounting to a ceiling or wall, a couple screw kits available for either of those installations. You also get a quick installation guide so you can get yourself up and running with the EAP900H. They've included a RJ45 cable, albeit a short one, but uh, there it is, so you can help integrate this into your network. And then you have this wall mounting bracket, which is circular, so you'd mount the bracket to the wall and then snap and rotate the uh, access point itself into the bracket, and then you're wall mounted. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the uh, access point itself. Um, so first off, you have some buttons, or some lights, I should say, uh, available here on the front. So uh, you have a WPS button right there for wi Wi-Fi protected setup, if you're going to be using that feature. Uh, 5G and 2.4 gigahertz wireless band connectivity or uh, in indicator lights. And then you have a network indicator light indicating you have connection to the rest of your network. And then a power indicator light indicating that the device is on and has power. Apart from that, you'll notice some ventilation here around the sides, so uh, pr plenty of airflow there to keep the access point cool while it's doing its job. And then here at the back, you'll notice uh, you have a cable routing uh, gap right there for routing the Ethernet cable uh, and the uh, AC power cable, if you're going to be using that as well. A couple of mounting points there as well for mounting the screws with the included uh, adapter and screw mounting kits. 
And then around here at the bottom, you'll notice you have a single uh, uh, gigabit Ethernet port right there. And again, power over Ethernet capable. So uh, if you're going to be using that, you just need to plug in that one plug. Or you got the AC power plug as well. Um, if you're going to be connecting both of those, if you don't have power over Ethernet available. Oh, and also you have a Kensington lock uh, spot right there. So you can lock this down if you're going to be using it in environments where security might be an issue. A couple more things to mention about this, apart from the PoE features, uh, the indoor ceiling deployment features, as well as the six integrated internal antennas with MIMO technology, is the uh, capability for cloud QoS, so QoS or quality of service, which is going to basically uh, allow you to enable packet prioritization and packet shaping. Um, and it's, since it's cloud-based, the cloud can actually update that to make sure that it is uh, up to date and that it is routing your packets properly, particularly if you're using different applications. And that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the Ingenious EAP900H Wireless and Dual Band Access Point and WDS, or Wireless Distribution System. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed this video, then leave us some feedback in the feedback or comment section down below, or a like or a dislike, and uh, let us know what you felt about this product. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.